So hi, Microbe Hunter here. Now you will never guess what this is. This is so-called fruit bread. It contains dried fruits and nuts and it's one of my favorites. Now when I first saw this bread I was a little bit concerned because there is some strange white stuff on its surface as you can see here. And uh, now because I did not make the bread myself, it was a bread present after all, I'm a little bit uh, suspicious. Um, and so could it be that the bread is moldy? Um, is this a fungus growing on the bread or could it be just flour? Well it's uh, time to find out and uh, I want to put the white stuff under my microscope uh, to find out. Now if it is a fungus then I expect to see three different things. Well first of course spores. Now these should be round or oval structures and more or less regular in shape and size. The second thing a fungal hyphae. Now these are long thread like cells of the fungus and they are these structures that make the fungus appear fuzzy. And the third thing, I expect to see so-called sporangia. Now these are the so-called parts of the fungus that actually produce the spores. And I expect uh, the spores to be aggregated and clustered around these sporangia. Just as a reference, uh, I also want to show you now real mold that I found. Now here we can see how fungal spores really look like. You will notice that they all look uh, more or less identical in other parts of the fungus like the thread like hyphae you can also see. Now when I first uh, put the slide under the microscope um, I was a little bit shocked uh, because I did indeed see some round grainy structures. And are these now the spores? Well, but after a few seconds I was indeed relieved because these structures are actually starch grains. Compared to spores they are too irregular and, and they also do not have the same size either. So I was also not able to see any hyphae and I also was not able to see any sporangia. So the white un unidentified material on the bread uh, probably was flour and the bread is safe to eat. Well one nice thing about starch grains is, is that they are polarizing and by rotating the filters you can get a variety of different uh, color effects. Now why is, why is there starch in the flour in the first place you might wonder. Well flour are the ground up seeds of wheat, or wheat, uh, wheat and the starch is the food for the young, young plant. Now the plants are able to make their own food by photosynthesis but only when they have leaves to catch sunlight and the plants that are germinating um, they don't have leaves yet and therefore they rely on the starch as a source of food. So what shall I say now? Um, problem solved um, and let's all enjoy the bread. A big thank you of course to all of my supporters. Um, please do consider subscribing to this channel if you liked it. Uh, happy microbe hunting as always and uh, see you around uh, next time again. Bye bye.